too hesitated in myself to speak. But I said it's not my chance to honor and uh, say something to my friend. Uh, to, I'm John, I'm one of, actually our family is one of her dearest friends for life. We call her Ashtag. I first met her on her arrival to Dubai and on her early 20s. We served God in the same church community, up to here in Every Nation Church. We started in Dubai, then here. You've said already everything, I guess, and I seconded on that. But part of me, as I testify right now, is to she's the most precious gem of my friends among the gems that I have. We got along easily, served God in the same way. She's a person who would want to give her best in whatever capacity. I thank God for the blessing of friendship to her life. Loyal as she is, loving as a friend a sister, and like a mother to my kids. My eldest son is her eldest among the God child that she has. And she even told DJ, which is dear my son, that don't get married yet, Nina first, which is God's mother first. So I said, oh, okay. <laughs> and true enough, she got married to our other father. He's, he's her groom. Our person, my personal life, according to my husband, he is, she is our personal GPS. Because every time we travel, she's our live GPS. She will tell us specifically which street. She's good in direction. She lived a life with a purpose, purpose-driven person, a purpose-driven life. She knows exactly what and how to please God, how to please His Creator. The same with personal relationship, friendship. Such a young lady, full of big dreams, and has a very successful career. And has a very, she's a great writer. Small, I used to describe her small but terrible. Because she's really smart. And I even at point said, I covet that smartness. Because she's really smart, not just in writing, but also in words. She loves public speaking. And to Evelyn, I made an acronym for her name. Evelyn. E as encourager, great encourager. She's very positive. I never saw her in a negative way. Even situation seems negative. She's always positive. And she gives smile to everyone who's sad, to everyone who's lonely, she gives life. She carries her name. In Hebrew, it says her name is life, giver of life. In Irish, it says radiant and beautiful. She really lived her name. Prosper. She gives hope to people who have no hope. She lived a life of victory. V is for victory. She fought a good fight of faith in Christ Jesus. She's a victorious woman, full of energy and enthusiasm. She's very contagious. Every time I see her, even I feel down, my feeling changes as soon as I see her face. She encourages me every time just by her smile and laugh. Oh, Joni, she used to call me. Related to ministry, she, she lived a life as a leader. She walked the talk. She leads by example. And lastly, she's very youthful. No dull moments when we are with her. Every moment are happy. She's very nurturing. She values every soul. She, every, she values every person. No matter what culture, no matter what language or differences, as Christ did, every person, it matters to her. 
she shows, she shows her purpose in life and driven with it, like she runs with it. Now to the legacy of Evelyn. It all falls, boils down to one, and that is to honor God and serve people. In everything that she does, it's always aligned, it's always tied up to the very purpose that God made her. Whether it's an acquaintance meeting or meeting a person in a bus station, it's all aligned to what sharing gospel to others. And that's what I admire to her. It's very selfless. And through our church community, she, she served the best. She never said no to any, any given task. And she gave it with excellence. She valued spiritual family. She loved so much church, church family, people, people that surround her. She, people that journeyed with her, we appreciate you guys. You're the heroes of her life throughout the journey. I may not be there throughout or every day, as I'm the only probably married among the core group. But to her life, Lord, we want to thank you. Evelyn, you will forever be missed. You will forever be loved. The legacy of you will forever live and be passed on. In honoring God and serving others, living a life of purpose. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful friend. Our dearest Evelyn. Thank you for the friendship. Thank you for the life you live. We love you. You're a real friend. You've given everything. Even, even to the point where you, you need rest, you still gave it all. You have corrected me with love and never tolerated sin, but restores a person to become a better person. You are a priceless, priceless gem to me, and we will cherish you forever. Thank you for the friendship, Evelyn, a friendship that's not measured with time or distance, the length of time we talk over the phone or chat, but it's measured within the heart. And I thank God for He needed us together from Dubai to here, and even up to the last moment. God had prepared me on the last day where Evelyn had taken, was taken, God has prepared me when I visited her. And God had told me, find rest in me, Joan, surrender everything to me. And I was at peace when I visited Evelyn. And when I went, I left and I whispered to her, Evelyn, if you want to rest, you rest. And I said, I love you. To all of us, may that legacy be upon us. You know, honoring God all the most and everything will follow. Thank you.